Polo has essentially been a rich man's sport, and hitherto so exclusive as to have little interest for the general public. But polo enthusiasts like Earl Mountbatten and Viscount Cadre are seeking to extend the range of appeal and reduce the cost. As against four teams in the country a few years ago, this year there are 14. Here's a keen match in progress on the ground of the Roehampton Club. You can call it half-time if you like, but if you wish to be popular with polo players, the correct term is chucker. A bell is rung every half chucker after every complete or pucker chucker, just in case your chucker, a chucker being seven and a half minutes duration. It's hard going and ponies are changed at the end of each chucker. A drink and a chat, and then it's a question once more of boots, saddle, to horse and away. Match may consist of four to eight chuckers, and there's a complicated method of handicapping based on goals. After each goal scored, incidentally, they change ends. In other ways, too, rules as to right of way, direction of approach to the ball, and direction of hitting once you've reached it, lift the game far out and above the hit or miss class. Anything likely to cause an accident to pony or player is a foul, and there's a range of penalties of increasing severity from a free hit where the foul occurred to the awarding of a goal to the injured side. It's a hard, fast sport calling for great stamina in both men and the specially bred horses. The ball is of willow and the sticks are cane handled, so now you know. If you want to watch it regularly, free of charge, the place is Richmond Park next year.